Did you know that your brain has a GPS-like system that can be mastered to create perfect sports execution all the time? In this video, we'll describe that system. It's called the Quiet Eye. Hello, I'm Dr. Labby. I'm a sports vision specialist with 30 years of experience working with elite and professional athletes, and I'm here to help you perform at your best. It turns out that what you're looking at just before, during, and after you perform the critical task in your sport plays a giant role in your success. It doesn't take long, only a split second of keeping your eyes still and on target, and that's all that's needed. Initially described by Dr. Joan Vickers in Calgary, Canada, many other researchers have seen the same effect in many different sports. We'll go through some of that in our research now. In fact, in a recent paper we published, we looked at the relationship between basketball free throw success and how the quiet eye was related. For example, here's a heat map from a player who scored only 17 of 30 free throws. The green dots show where he was looking just before, during, and after the shot. See how spread out the dots are all over the backboard? What we found was that the NBA shooters who kept their eyes looking at a constant point on the basketball rim had a greater success than the shooters who moved their eyes around to look at all different parts of the basket and the backboard. In fact, here's a heat map from another player who scored 30 out of 30 shots. Can you see how his dots are all clustered together at the back of the rim? This is what leads to great success. As you can see here in another image from the paper, players that looked at the specific points for a longer time and looked for at fewer points overall had the greater free throw success compared to those who kept moving their eyes around and didn't allow them to be quiet. Well, how does this work? Why is it effective? It appears that the active concentration and mental focus on a task, as measured by keeping your eyes still on a specific target, is necessary for optimal sports performance. Researchers have shown that people who have a better ability to store information in short-term memory, the key to attention and mental focus, have quieter eyes and greater success. In fact, in the second part of this series, we'll explain how to train to use the quiet eye in your sport. But first, we need to understand how and why it works. In addition to focus and attention, researchers have seen reduced heart rate as well as better control of muscle movement with the quiet eye technique. Not only can the quiet eye help in sports during the season, it may also help reduce the decline in performance we often see when the stakes in the game increase. Times like the last minutes of a match or the final outs of a postseason championship game. By increasing attention and concentration, which is often damaged by increased pressure, the quiet eye can help make sure that your performance is constantly at an optimal level, regardless of the importance of the game or the pressure to perform well. Now let's take a look at what actually is a quiet eye. We talked about basketball free throws, now let's take a look at golf putting for example. In these videos we see the golf ball and the putter as well as two dots, one green and one blue, to show where each eye is looking. In this first video it's pretty clear that the golfer looks immediately to where he hit the ball just after contact with the putter and the ball. See how the blue and green dots move the eyes on ball contact? In the second video though, this player has been trained in the quiet eye. In fact, it's the same golfer as the first video, but now his eyes stay still on the point of contact between the ball and the club for a short time after the ball moves. This is a great example of a quiet eye. So far, we've shown the effect of basketball and golf. We'll wrap up now with an example in baseball. In this slow motion video, note how the batter keeps a constant look on the pitcher's glove and hand and then moves to the anticipated release point, keeping his fixation steady as the hand moves through that point and the ball is released, thus making sure that he doesn't miss a single cue for pitch identification and batting success. In the next video in this series, part two, we'll describe exactly how you can train your quiet eye. Stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching and see you next time.